A new exhibit at Graceland opening Friday offers an inside look at one of the biggest entertainment brands in the world. It opens up this week and we're getting early access thanks to the folks at Walt Disney Archives and Elvis Presley Enterprises. With that in mind, let's head back out live to the Graceland Exhibition Center and Angie Marchese. She oversees archives and exhibits. Angie, how excited are you about this and what has already grabbed your attention? Oh, I am so excited. We are very excited here to welcome Disney here to Graceland. It is amazing to be able to see inside the Graceland as well as the Walt Disney Archives while you're here at Graceland and be able to see a little bit of where all the magic takes place. Well, they could not have picked a better place to bring this exhibit. First time for this in the whole South. So this will be great for tourism. Exactly. A lot of folks will be coming here to see it. So I always mm -hmm. wondered, is there an Elvis story related to Disney? Did he ever go? I've never heard. You know, there are so many six degrees of separation when it comes to Elvis and Walt Disney. Um, Elvis never went to Disney that we know of. But now that Disney also owns the 20th Century Fox archives, Elvis is actually part of the Disney archives. And of course, in 2003, one of Disney's beloved characters, Stitch, became a huge Elvis fan. And he actually has made his way back here to Graceland. And we have original art from the Lilo and Stitch exhibit as part of the exhibition here that opens this Friday. Oh, cool. That is pretty amazing there. So Angie, <laughs> yeah. what are you standing in front Stitch of? Stitch wanted to come back and see Elvis. Exactly. Yeah. What's right behind you in that area where you are? So we're now in the reading room at Yes, in the, in the Walt Disney Archives. And this right behind me is where all of the magic would take place, where all of the early animation films would have been drawn. So all of your early Disney classics would have been drawn on desks just like this. Wow. So it's really great because in the exhibit you can see things like from Alice in Wonderland, Mary Poppins, and then even Beauty and the Beast. I mean, the exhibit's full of things for kids of all ages to see. And those are, um, the artwork is, you know, gallery quality, so that's different. Speaking of quality, one thing that strikes me as interesting with this partnership is you've got two of the companies that arguably really focus on excellence at every level. That has always amazed me about both mm -hmm. Elvis Presley Enterprises and Disney. Yes, exactly. That's what's really great is because when you think of American pop culture and you think of pillars of American pop culture, Elvis and Disney are both two of the biggest pillars and biggest names you can come, with, come up with. And so we really set the bar very high in standards. And it's amazing to be able to get a peek behind the curtain into the Disney archives and to see how they preserve and present not only the Disney legacy, but Walt's legacy. Yeah. Wow. So Angie, what else in that room is really a must see that will really get people kind of worked up? You know, not only in the, I wish I could take you to some of the other rooms, but not only in this room, I mean, some of the other artifacts we have on display here are some costumes, not only from the park, but from some of the great Disney movies that everyone's gone to see and love. We've got attraction ride part of uh, uh, ride pieces, um, wow. including the hitchhiking ghost from the Haunted Mansion from Walt Disney World. <laughs> They've even made the trip to Memphis. We all have our favorite Disney story. And Friday, it's a full day of family friendly activities do people need tickets or do they come exactly. out exactly so Friday yes Friday everything kicks off uh, everything opens at 10 o'clock on Friday the exhibit runs through January the 2nd tickets are available at Graceland.com but we have so many fun other activities going on besides the exhibition you're going to be able to participate in tea parties trivia Disney nights um, and also we're going to be screening Disney classics on the Graceland soundstage starting this Sunday with Alice in Wonderland Oh, wow. right. I love it. So forget about California, forget about Florida. That's right. We got Disney right here <laughs> in Memphis. Right here in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> that is awesome. What an epicenter. Thank you so much, Angie. Always Thank you, good Angie. to see you.